Hey guys, so when it comes to retrieval augmented generation, as we can see, we have come a long way from just doing traditional rack pipelines to uh, advanced rack to multimodal rack to agentic rack, what we see today. So it all started with basic um, embedding, uh, simple retrieval direct generation, as you can see in the traditional rack to, um, to talking about, you know, uh, involving hybrid search, re-ranking, query expansion for more context of a responses, uh, in the advanced rag to multimodal rag along with the um, you know introduction of multimodal models from Gemini, Anthropic, OpenAI, um, where we saw a great improvement in image, audio, video understanding and different types of uh, you know um, outputs uh, for more context aware responses in the multimodal rag. Uh, and then uh, now uh, everybody's talking about agentic rag where the uh, agents plan everything and the function calling happens and uh, you know uh, the big complex tasks are uh, divided into subtasks where the um, are these autonomous agents come together to perform the basically solve this complex task so there involves uh, the tool integration self improvement chain of thought and all these things so it's it's very good to see where we are going um, where we are going forward with uh, the rack but what we are usually missing is uh, a proper platform um, what you can call a tool to basically build uh, production ready um, rack pipelines so today in this video i'm going to talk about how you can basically build seamless uh, production ready rack pipelines in minutes and uh, uh, let's let's see that how we can do that so we all know that developing a perfect rack pipeline is complex and hard right and uh, we have come a long way like we discussed uh, from building uh, traditional rag uh, workflows or pipelines to uh, agentic rag pipelines what we see today using um, agents so but but still what uh, we are missing is a tool or platform that can help us confidently build production ready rag pipelines or applications uh, so uh, recently I found a platform or a tool you can call uh, that can help us seamlessly build production ready uh, rag pipelines and also uh, help us do rag evaluations uh, to find the best embedding model uh, chunking strategy and uh, retrieval approach to get the most accurate results from LLM powered uh, from our LLM powered rag application. So the tool I'm talking about today is called Vectorize. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how you can basically create um, your rack pipelines uh, with confidence and uh, I'll also show you how you can run a, a sample rag evaluation to demonstrate how uh, you can easily achieve uh, better accuracy in your uh, LLM power application. So let's let's do that. Hey guys, so let's get started with our tutorial uh, of building production ready rack pipelines, right? So go to vectorize.io. Um, create a free account and create your organization. And uh, once you create your organization, this is where you will land. Uh, so let's uh, select sample uh, documents to vectorize. As you can see here, this is the vectorize product tour. Um, so here you can see some samples uh, for uh, RAG evaluation. So this will basically demonstrate how vectorize uses uh, data driven approach to help you select the best embedding model chunking strategy and retrieval approach to get the most accurate results from your LLM powered rag application. So uh, let me select uh, friend season one, right? So let's run run rag uh, evaluation. So it just started. And uh, as you can see, uh, successfully created rag evaluation friend season one. Uh, Right, you can skip this. You can read this like rag evaluation details. Uh, rag evaluation uh, evaluations make it easy to get accurate results from your retrieval augmented generation application. You can just um, select a vector database. Now it's selected Pinecone as the vector database, right? And next you can go like vector search indexes, and uh, so. Each uh, RAG evaluation creates and populates multiple vector search indexes using the content of the documents provided, right? So vectorization plan. Uh, each card represents a ve vector index that is created as part of the RAG evaluation. And you can also see the description of what this is all about. A card shows details about the vectorization plan used 
to generate the index such as the embedding model and changing strategy so yeah uh, synthetic results the uh, synthetic questions every rag evaluation pro uh, produces synthetic questions based on what your uh, users might want to know about your content so you can just go on like clicking next and you can read uh, you can also see the uh, relevancy results and the winning approach which which um uh, which one is uh, which chunk is winning what is the embedding model right so yeah you can explore the data and do a lot more things right so as you can see the uh, the uh, friends season one rag evaluation dashboard once you run your evaluation uh, this is how you look uh, it looks and uh, you can basically see which one is the winner here as it is showing the uh, winning um, uh, card here right the chunk size top k uh, extraction uh, dimension uh, right you can hold over uh, the uh, exclamation mark and see what everything is about what it's about average relevancy score as you can see the relevancy score in others is 0 0.05 0 0.06 0 0.07 here it is 0 0.09 and also ndcg what is ndcg normalized discounted cumulative gain measure of ranking quality right it evaluates how well the search results are ranked considering the uh, relevance of each item right here it is comparatively more uh, compared to uh, others right so yeah, um, uh, there's a lot more. It, you can open the uh, open in rag sandbox and basically ask, uh, I think, different questions. What is rag sandbox? The rag sandbox provides an end-to-end -end test environment where you can compare different vector search indexes and LLMs, right? And you can skip this. You can go on reading. You can ask a question. You are a helpful assistant. You can ask a question and it will uh, give you the answer. So let's pick this one sample question. What does Rachel think about her experiences with the group? Let's execute this. Right, retrieved context and uh, LLM prompt. We have the LLM prompt generated response and change LLM settings. So as you can see, we wanted top uh, three results uh, for this particular question and the prompt system behavior is you are a helpful assistant. And here are the sample questions we submitted with the, the default question here and we got the uh, top three uh, answers, right? As you can go here, the top, And here is the LLM's response. The LLM used is Llama 3.170B, and you can change it here, right? So uh, analysis of Rachel's experience based on the provided documents, it can be uh, inferred that Rachel has mixed feelings about her recent experiences with the group. And you can see all this result. So basically you can, um, this, and this is the winning uh, um, uh, selector one meaning card, right? Uh, what is the embedding model? Open AI v3 large, uh, chunking uh, strategy paragraph, chunk size, top three, extraction fast, dimension, leverage relevancy score, and NDCG score. So uh, you can do much more with this. You can basically submit the other question and also see the, um, the results here. And uh, yeah. Uh, that's it about how you can basically run a simple uh, RAG evaluation pipeline. And uh, let's go ahead and also see by selecting other um, vector database and uh, how we can run the RAG pipelines. Hey okay, guys, so here is my other tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can build uh, more advanced RAG pipelines using Vectorize. And uh, let's do that. So uh, this is the Vectorize dashboard and you can go to Rack Pipelines. So I have already created my pipeline. I'm gonna show you what are the configurations I've used. So if you wanna create, create a new Rack Pipeline by clicking this button and you can create a new Rack Pipeline. So I have 
uh, already created this and uh, let's go and see the different configurations that I have used uh, to create the um, this rack pipeline. So source connectors I have used is the web crawler type. You can um, change it here. So um, the single store website is what I have used uh, to um, crawl and use as a source connector. And uh, the maximum URLs is 1000, uh, maximum depth is 50, and um, you can see the other configurations here. So, uh, and the OpenAI platform is what I've used uh, for the embedding model and uh, all that. And the vector database, I have used single store as my vector database. So what you can do is you can go to singlestore.com, <clears throat> Uh, create a free account um, using free share tier and then once you create your account this is where you will land uh, you will have the um, you can create your workspace uh, by just clicking create workspace right uh, and then under your workspace you can create a database creating a database under your workspace is very easy you can just click create database and here I already have my workspace ready and my um, database is ready. My database name is Vectorize. So let's go back here. Uh, and then why I told you guys to do that is uh, that's how you can basically use, um, you know, different uh, databases. Let me show you, right? See, there is a source connector. These are the integrations you can do, right? You can have uh, the new source connector. I have used single store website as the source connector, like I said, and you can also use the different types of vector databases available. Uh, so I have used single store database as the vector database. You can connect different available vector databases here. So once you uh, go to single store, you can um, you can you know uh, share uh, give it a name, uh, enter a description descriptive name for your single store integration. You can have the you can you know provide the host port database. So how you can do that? Go to um, connect. Go to your uh, single store dashboard. Go to connect and go to uh, SQL ID. Uh, and then uh, here is the host. This is the port and username is admin. Uh, and then the password you can get it from here, right? So fill everything and then just create a single store integration. So uh, that's how you can uh, integrate single store and any other vector database you want. And AI platform I have used is OpenAI. You can just create new AI platform and then use OpenAI or uh, Voyage AI or um, Amazon AWS Bedrock, which is coming soon. So let's go to my pipeline again. Um, all the integrations are done. Everything is done. So uh, now, Let's go to the uh, sandbox, rag sandbox. Right. So let me ask, uh, since we have used uh, single store as the uh, source connector, I have basically used uh, blog as the source connector. So let me see. Um, let me ask a simple question like, uh, this is where you will, uh, this is the sandbox, RAG pipeline sandbox, uh, RAG sandbox, and you can see the system behavior. behavior. Uh, you are a helpful assistant, and we can ask a question like, hey, uh, how a single store helps uh, to improve developer productivity, right? Let me ask a question, and this is the prompt and um, re-rank responses so just submit and it will fetch the relevant um, results from the single store website as you can see here the first chunk which has a cosine similarity score 0.62 and the relevancy score uh, 0.98 right so it is um, and you can see the five results here the chunk two Similarity score is a cosine similarity score is this much and relevancy score is this much and the chunk three with cosine similarity score and relevancy score and again you will get five different scores and here is the LLM response using the proper context right single store helps to improve developer productivity in several ways single store DB self-managed 6.5 has made queries 
two to four x faster than the previous version. So this is from chunk one it is getting. So you basically uh, build a complete uh, answer back to the user for this particular question. You can basically use different questions also, right? Let me go and see what are the other things I can use, right? Snowflake, yeah. How let let's see how single store uh, helps uh, uh, companies with um, how single store and Snowflake integration helps companies, right? How single store and Snowflake Snowflake integration helps companies. So let's let's submit and see the different retrieved context from. See, as you can see, there is also you can also see the source from where it is getting the source from. Let's go to this particular article. As it says, single store now, Snowflake plus single store better together. So it is um, getting the retrieved context from that particular blog article, right? So the cosine similarity score is 0.68. As you can see, this relevance is 0.9999. So uh, you can also see the other retrieved uh, results, uh, top five results. So as you can see, the LLM response using the LLM Llama 3.1, you can change it here. The integration of single store and Snowflake helps companies in several ways, real-time data processing, uh, seamless integration with Snow Snowpark container surveys, uh, and some practical use cases, enhanced data governance and security, cost efficiency, uh, right? Uh, powerful combination for intelligent applications, bi-directional iceberg integration. So, and it'll also tell you from where the uh, chunk is uh, getting retrieved from, from chunk one. This is chunk three, uh, this is chunk three, chunk three. So I think the second uh, most uh, relevant one is chunk three. Point nine 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 nine. So as you can see, this is basically telling us the the different proper combinations uh, used in the rack pipeline, right? So yeah, and you can go back to your single store um, single store dashboard, go to databases, and uh, the database we use this uh, vectorize. As you can see, this is the um, uh, column we used basically. This is the table uh, table name uh, and these are the columns Power tab is the uh, table name and you can see the sample data that's been uh, stored in the vector database that is single store vector database that yeah, so this is how the data has been stored in the database so hope you saw how we integrated the vector database the single store right um, this is how we can basically select and then enter name, post, uh, port, database, um, and then the username and uh, password. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's how you can basically create um, uh, RAG applications, production ready RAG applications in minutes. And I really like how Vectorize does this and um, I even want you to go to singlestore.com and also Vectorize to try out this combination of using Vectorize to build uh, proper uh, rack pipelines and uh, using single store as your vector database. Um, thanks.